this is the part of the podcast that I'm very excited to talk about, which is currently someone who's on my like favorite drivers list, even though he's very non-factor, except this weekend he did, you know, kind of change the the trajectory of the race. Um, Kevin Magnuson. I just want to spotlight yeah. him a little bit here. Um, I mean, the man worked really hard this weekend, <laughs> racking up penalties. So I just want to talk about him a little bit. And I know you called him a human wrecking ball earlier. Um, but wow, what what a weekend for this man. Um, yeah. I couldn't even tell you how many penalties he accumulated because they're still reviewing shit. Uh, you know, we have to record this at some time and Miami's a later race in the day for us. So, um, And, and more, still- more importantly... I've got to watch the Dallas Stars <laughs> Vegas Golden Knights game seven, um, which is about to puck drop. So we had to do this before. And because time, time zone wise, we couldn't wait till after the race because Emily would be asleep in Argentina. Yeah. You know, working, working across time zones and cross sports, we uh, got to fit this in. But um, yeah, so he is still, still getting penalties. He also got three points on his um, super license, which is, I think he's at 18 points now. Um, eight. Oh, I thought they said 18. No, is no, it if it was 18, he'd have a race ban. The, the, the maximum you say. can get before is, is 12. Um, and so we might be in race ban territory, which we th- you know thought we were going to be in um, two years ago with um, Pierre Gasly, who was the human wrecking ball for, you know, of the great portion of his time, you know, when he was back at Alpha Towery. Um, and the question was, you know, was Formula One going to, you know, give him the penalty points? Because he got to 10. And then, you know, he, he had like three months worth of racing um, before his points were going to start to expire. Um, and, you know, were, was he going to get a race ban? And we might be in, in you know, getting close to race band ter- territory, not so much with Fernando, I don't think, um, but with, you know, Kevin Magnuson, it might be a little dicey. 